Hi everybody. Um I I really wish I could be there today and not here, but I don't think you'd want me around. Um I left with no voice on Tuesday. Thought, well, get some rest and we'll be back. No problem, but Janae ended up being sick. I think you if you watched the other videos then you'd know that Janae ended up being sick through the night. And uh Tuesday night, yeah, Tuesday night. And then I ended up having the same through the night last night, so it's a humdinger, and uh, I hope that you guys don't get it, especially right now with exams coming up. Um, but I did want to kind of touch base and give you more of an idea what to um, expect for today. So um, I, the, I've asked the substitute to check on your case studies to see that you have them done. Um, there are video lessons if you didn't check your emails or didn't do what was asked yesterday. Uh, there are video lessons on the class website. <laughs> there are video lessons to help you make sense of uh, the rest of this chapter. So you can re-watch them at your own pace. Um, I had done them so that they'd help you with uh, the case studies, and the case studies were meant to uh, help you create um, study tools for, um, sorry, for your exam and to make more sense of the information. So there are some links with good animations too. I meant to show them during the video, but I didn't. Um, but uh, you should have all the class notes. I handed them out the other day. There's a video lesson. We had t finished to the end of talking about what you'd find in the mouth, um, but we hadn't done the mouth, a uh, the enzyme action in the mouth. So this starts with the enzyme action in the mouth. It talks about what happens in the stomach, and then the next one talks about the small intestine and all the accessory parts and what they put into the small intestine, and um, then the last one talks about the large intestine and absorption, how absorption happens. So um, these two were meant to kind of help you with the case study and that question where you were creating um, something to look sort of like this. So this would be a good kind of study tool for understanding the enzyme action and what happens. Just a reminder again that this stars here because this particular Thing is physical digestion, so it's pulling things apart but not breaking any bonds. Whereas all the rest, the red things are enzymes, and so they are um, chemical digestion. So that is there. You can use that today. It might help you. Um, the disorders are here, and there's quizlets for you to study the disorders. Um, but today in class, I was going to get you to work more on your body study tool because it is worth marks and you can take a picture of it in the end with your phone so you don't have to build a whole new one from scratch. Um, but it would be a really useful tool if you put the effort in and, and um, do it something like this. So this was kind of the idea. So there's numbers on all the parts and on the valves. Um, so if you create a legend and you figure out all the part names, most of them you should know or can look at your notes or watch the video to, to do that. Um, the notes nearer the end have all of them written in, except maybe a valve or two. So if you need help with that, you can. Um, when you're doing your body, this is the liver, and so it kind of, you can make it sit on top and just tape this edge on for your body diagram. Okay, um, <clears throat> because then you can flip it up and see the gallbladder and the pancreas underneath. So that other little part, if you didn't know where to put it, it should be up here. Be there should be a little duct sticking out here if you didn't cut it off. And so it should attach here between the stomach and the small intestine. Okay, so you should have a legend that says the names of all the parts and the valves. And at the very least, I'll look for um, something where you show the enzyme action. So what's happening in the mouth, what's happening in the stomach, what's happening in the small intestine. And so um, basically it has the starting, whatever the is being acted on. It has what you end up with underneath the arrow. And then to the side is the name of the enzyme. So in your mouth, what happens is the carbohydrates, the complex polysaccharides, are broken down to dextrins, which are small polysaccharides. And it's done by salivary amylase, which is in your saliva. Okay, so same kind of thing do with what happens in the stomach. 
And then in the small intestine is the rest of the digestion. Okay, so carbohydrates are acted on in the mouth, proteins are acted on first in the stomach, and then in the small intestine, um, this is what continues so that you get them down to the basic building blocks that we can absorb. Now, extra things that you could put on. Um, I would put a little star or something up here by the bile activity so that you can remember it's physical where the rest are enzyme actions. You could put a little um, square that talks about absorption. So if you watched that video, um, the products of proteins and carbohydrates are small enough. So monosaccharides and amino acids are small enough that they're absorbed right into the capillaries. Whereas the glycerol and fatty acids are bigger and bulkier, so they're picked up by the lacteals and carried by the lymphatic vessels. Remember, we learned about that as a function of the lymphatic system. So you could put a little block on here. I would, if I was doing that, I'd even put a little drawing of the villus and show it with it because that's a really good thing to study. On the left, I just did some here that I listed the accessory structures in each of the regions and you could put their jobs beside it. So you could put the gastric glands, for instance, here and then say what each of the types of cells make instead of just listing them. That would be good. Um, here's the pancreas. It produces pancreatic juice, which has bicarbonate and enzymes, which is a bunch of these enzymes. Um, the liver produces bile, gallbladder stores bile, and intestinal glands produce intestinal juice, which has enzymes in it. Okay, so that's kind of the idea of what I had in mind for you to work on. So today's class is kind of work using the laptop so you can borrow headphones, you can help each other to understand the stuff, you can um, finish up your case studies at the same time if you didn't get them done. Um, and that's kind of kind of where I was hoping to go with today. So good luck with that. Um, this video will be there for if you need it. Okay. Oops. So I uh, wish you good luck and that you're getting ready for your exams. Don't forget, tomorrow um, I'll be marking these quickly. It'll be a quick mark, and you can take pictures of it. So you'll have it for yourself for studying. I'll also take pictures, and I can put them in Edmodo for you so you can access them. And um, your heart lab, your heart and lungs lab, the little one, you should have one for each group. Those I'll take in. And don't forget about your Who Am I's to come and see me about them sometime between now and the end of next week. Um, hope you have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow.